Hello dear ones, it's, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I've been reading the epistles of John. I really like John. I think he's the guy they call John the Divine, right? And, and he reminds me a little of my Uncle John, who is one of my favorite uncles, although I had lots of uncles and they were all pretty cool. And so, um, I thought I would read you the first epistle general of John, chapter 2, verses 8 to 13, because they, they are actually beautifully and eloquently spoken, and also they offer a key that will help us get through this, this time of the Great Tribulation, a very simple key, okay? And so we need to look at it, this key, and decide how it relates in many different ways to, our, to the truth of our lives. And uh, I leave that to you, that looking at to you, and I'm just going to read you these, these very uplifting and inspiring verses. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past, and the true light now shineth. He that saith he is in the light, and hateth his brother, is in darkness even until now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whither he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. I write unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. So these are words of encouragement for different sorts of people that, that he's writing to there. And so in this, in this section, chapter 2, verses 8 to 13, the gist of it is, he's saying love, not hate, is the important thing. And light, not darkness, is the important thing. And forgiveness is available for everyone. And so, the, the only question I'd like you to consider is this, this question that arises from, from verse 10, where he says, He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is no, none occasion of stumbling in him. So, so, what I'd like you to consider is what Christ meant when he said, Brother, the word brother. Who really is our brother, you know? And a lot depends on that. Uh, a lot, um, not not just for the world, but uh, for our own soul evolution. So, so wherever you are, it's okay to be there, you know. It's, but it's good to know where we stand, don't you think? So, signing off for now. Y'all take care. <laughs>